Hey everybody, in this video I'll be explaining how to install the game engine Unity on Windows operating systems. First off, go ahead and open up unity.com in your browser. Then you're going to click on get started in the top right hand corner. In the new browser window that opens up, you'll get an overview of the different plans. I'll be installing the individual version, not a Teams version and I'm going to be using it for personal use only, which is free. So under the personal free version, I'm going to click on get started. And in my case, I'll be installing this for Windows, so I'm gonna click on download for Windows. Then you'll notice a small download pop-up in the bottom left-hand corner, and once the download is done, you can go ahead and click on it. After you click on it, a small window will open up asking you to accept the terms of service. After you accept that, you can decide on where to install Unity on your computer. And then when you've decided where you want to install Unity, you can click on install. The installation will take a few moments and then when you're done, you can click on finish. After that, you'll get Windows Firewall asking to allow access. I'm going to allow access on private and public networks and then click on allow access. Then in the next window, you're going to be welcome to the Unity Hub. I'm going to assume that you do not have an account yet, so you're going to click on create account. But of course, if you already have an account, you can click on sign in. In that case, you can click on the next timestamp. So when we create an account, we'll have to fill out this window and check all the boxes, and then we can click on create a Unity ID. Then they will send you an email, and in the email, you'll have to click on the confirmation link. Now I have it open in another window, but I click the confirmation link, and then you'll be brought to the next window. Then you'll have to confirm that you're not a robot again. After that, you will be redirected to the sign into your Unity ID page. And over here, you're going to sign in with the username and the password that you just created. And once you do that, you'll be brought to the My Account Settings page where you can play around with all your different settings. The next thing that you want to do is you want to click on the Unity icon in your taskbar. Once you do that, you can click on Sign In. The next thing that happens, you get a browser window and you click on open in Unity Hub. Then you can watch this beautiful YouTube video, which I'm just gonna skip over and click on got it. Now you need to click on the install Unity editor button. And just because it's so much fun, you'll have to accept another license agreement. After you've done all this, the Unity editor will start installing. Now I have gone ahead and sped up the footage, so don't worry if this is working slower for you guys. Once the installation is completed, you can go ahead and close this small window. Finally, getting to the end of the installation, you can click on Projects and New Project. Then when you click on New Projects, you'll be brought to the next screen where you can choose what type of project you want to create. If you're starting Unity for the very first time, it will recommend some learning projects, but over here you can just go ahead and click on Cancel because we just want to create a regular new project. Then you'll have some templates to choose from. We're just gonna go for a 2D template and press on create project. Then after a few minutes of loading, you'll be brought to the beginning screen of your Unity project. All right, so I hope this video helped you guys install Unity. If it did, then make sure to leave a like on this video. And I'm going to be creating a couple of Unity beginners tutorials. So if you're interested in that, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. And as always, see you in the next video.